Hi and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm Emily, also known as Flossy Gaming. Um, I hate intros. <laughs> so today I decided to play one of my all-time favourite games since I was a little girl, which is The Sims, in particular The Sims 4. And a new expansion pack came out recently, Sims 4 University. Um, and it's just my favourite one across all of the other games. So I thought I'd do a little series on it. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we have our sim. Oh, 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 so gotcha. this is the sim we'll be sending to university. Her name is Olivia Arioso and she lives with her mum, dad, her little sister and her cat. This is her cat Misty. I think I have a puppy. I think if I ever went to university, I'd really miss my dog. So I don't know how I'd do that. Yeah, so this is the mom. Veruda Campbell. Lumbic Yarl. And this is her husband. This is Luca. We also have another daughter named Paige. So, when it comes to The Sims, I normally build my own houses. However, I've been doing so much building and um, prepping for this series that I just downloaded a house off of the gallery and just renovated the inside a little bit. So, I think the first step is to get... Olivia to apply to university, $75. We haven't got too much household funds. Um, so her mum is in the business career. She's an assistant. Her dad is actually an engineer. Um, he loves robotics. So come from a very smart background. Um, and she herself actually has a few skills that she's taken from school. So she has charisma at level three, logic is level two, and her wellness is level four. A little bit about her, she's an activist, she's charming, she's a quick learner, but she also is clumsy. I like to give my sims kind of just traits that maybe make it a little bit harder in gameplay, give them a bit of diversity because not everyone is 100% kind of good or well-rounded um, so it just adds a little bit of, what is the word like? Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to do some research in the universities. This is the one I think I'm leaning towards for this series. I think I might do a second series with another sim and try Foxbury. Because I live in England, I love the style of this university. I just think it'll be fun to play. So, University of Brightchester. Historical, um, prides itself in both educating minds and morals. That's kind of what we want. Got a few organisations, but I think that's the same in both the Spirit Corps, Art Society, and Debate Skills. I've got all the degrees down here, but the ones I think I want to focus on, and hopefully, if she gets into them, is the distinguished degrees. Um, so, in this particular university or college um, in America, as it's known, we have Art History, Communications culinary arts, drama, fine art, history and language and literature. Now I want this sim to go into the law career. Um, I've already kind of dabbled in the education and some of the other new ones as you can see her dad's um, an engineer. So I'm just going to turn this down because the thunder in the sims is crazy. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go into the lawyer. I think she's a smart girl and I think she can go for it. So this is Foxbury, what I think we'll touch upon in our other series. Um, it's a premier university, it's very modern. Um, I enjoyed making, like, re renovating the campus for Foxbury. Um, all this, oh no, different organisations, that's interesting, I didn't know that. 
so that'll be fun. We've got Spirit Squad, Brainiacs and Bot Savants. Um, you've got all the degrees that you have in Brightchester as just your normal degrees. And then in your distinguished degrees, you have biology, computer science, economics, physics, psychology, which I like the sound of, I did that in college, and villainy. <laughs> I think um, the Pleasants, one of the Pleasants is actually doing that. Um, is it Lily Pleasant? So, yeah. Let's email former guidance counsellor about the scholarship to advice, review the info packet and research Brightchest. Oh, we already done that. Counsellor, we want to apply for scholarship. Yay! We got accepted. So, got accepted into both and she's actually got into distinguished degrees for both. However, we did say we wanted to do Brightchester. So that's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, so proud. My family's gonna be so proud. So I'm gonna enrol in the university and let's just get doing it. So we're just having a little look. Oh. Oh, oxides. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Oh. Okay. So we said we wanted to do Brightchester, so let's go with it. And we wanted a distinguished degree, so the ones that we've got into... Oh, I thought we got into two. Did we not? Oh yeah, we did. So we can either do communications, which benefits with the... What career is that? Is that the... Politics? And then we have history, which helps with, that's what we want. So we want to be a lawyer. So we're gonna do that. I think for the first term, do we go hard, do we go easy? So let's start with two classes, historical perspective, cultural milestones and movements, and let's do an elective, because that'll be really fun and she can improve some skills. Um, so, oh, I might get her to do, um, do we do pet training? Do we learn some? Is there anything to do with arts? Because I know there's an art. No. Let's get her to learn some. Let's do some violin. That might be nice. Nice little skill. She must complete 12 classes to graduate. Okay. So we don't want to live in at home. We want the full university experience. Um, but I don't want to just go in off of campus and going into another house because not there yet and in um in the UK how our system actually works is you go into campus for your first year so in this case I'll probably do for one term um and say that's a year um and then you usually move into other student accommodation outside of the campus you usually do that with your friends I don't think you can do this on this game um, so we'll go for the cheaper option anyway because I don't really want to move in and have to take on two of the sims so we're going to Drake Hall it's £331 a term um, it's a lot of money so we did get a scholarship education for all which is really good and we also got a merit scholarship I don't know what that is um, so we don't have to pay that much however I don't want to just pay it with the household funds I don't think that's really realistic especially not in the UK we do student loans so we'll do that um, ah, so I think I don't think she's going to need much money because I think some of the food and stuff at university is actually free so I'm going to give little Olivia 500, oh, not 500 to start with transfer that over oh bye kitty cat bye family we just moved straight there <laughs> she's in her halls they're a bit drab i'm guessing these are all her roommates oh we've got the horrible open showers i would hate that um see oh she already doing her homework 
What a good lass. You do you. Um, so we've got the little common room, I'm guessing. Oh, that's cute. Got a little table. Is this a game or just a table? Yeah, so you can play cards. We have a few different rooms. Have you already kind of chosen yourself this one or? Let's have a look around. So, got some there. I kind of like this one. It's cute. Someone's already moved into this one, it seems. That's really cool. <laughs> Ooh. Who's it assigned to? Jacqueline, that's my mother's name. So has anyone else assigned themselves a bed yet? Yep, Yusuf has. Uh, there's another one of our roommates, Mas Masato, is that how you say his name? Ria. Oh, she's pretty. Maybe I have to do some editing cast, to be honest, with some of these little Simorinos I can be friends with. Um, I'm gonna assign myself to this bed for now. Um, let's see, so for my classes, I have class tomorrow, so I better do my homework pretty sharpish. I don't have cultural milestones, so that's the other day, so that'll make it a bit helpful. Got to do a term paper, so we'll start working on that pretty soon. And we also have violin tomorrow, so we should probably do that homework, let's see. Have you not done that homework yet? Okay. Okay, so we've got little Olivia into university. I'm just gonna have a quick explore of the town. The halls that she lives in. Very, very old fashioned English, it feels like. Hogwarts. <laughs> so I think that's just, oh, what's this? Okay, so we've got the lecture buildings here, skill classes office hours ah okay and we can tutor people i wonder if that gets us money that might be a way to do that so i'm good enough in wellness to do tutoring for that oh lovely little river it's kind of very um cambridge or oxford-esque for me um a little canal usually in britain with those um kind of prestigious universities you have like canal racing um canal racing boat racing <laughs> Oh, that's cute. So this is actually a house I built with the idea in mind that maybe next term she might move into this house and with some people. I wanted to give it kind of a renovation. I didn't particularly like the old look and I wanted it to kind of look like an old barn renovated. So that's what we've gone for there. Just have, oh, some duckies. Can you see them? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, she, can you swim in this? I hope there's a part you can swim in. Oh, duckies. Oh. Okay. Oh, there is. That's so fun. See, that's my American because I would not swim in British water. Freezing. Okay, that's fun. So what else have we got? We've got another little skill class area. Ah, oh, we've got the statue oh you can deface it let's not do that i wonder if um the other students from the other university come and deface that i think see these are some places where we'll have classes um where's the because i'm pretty sure okay here we go yeah so this is the you break commons I might have to renovate this building at some point. You'll have to let me know. I'm not too sure. It's just a bit of a box, isn't it? It looks quite small. I've seen the Foxbury one. I've renovated the Foxbury one. And that's so much bigger. But it's a cute little area. Be nice to have some painting down here as well. Oh, we're learning some violin. So not all is lost. I'm also pretty sure there was somewhere to do spots. I just missing that oh here okay so you can do esports i can do soccer maybe we'll join a sports team uh, as we go along but for now for now oh hello no okay no 
not much has happened in this episode. We've just got to university. She's left her family. She's come to live in some dorms. And she is studying history at the college or university of Brightchester. So I'm hoping that her first day of classes goes well. We'll follow that in the next series. Have a little explore. See if we can join a society. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a really great rest of your day. And happy new year. Thank you. Bye.